In this session, you will be given the opportunity to practice calculating a patient's Glasgow Coma Scale or GCS score. You should already be familiar with the following scoring system, where a GCS of 15 represents the highest score available and a GCS of 3 represents the lowest. Let's look at the following case study. You are the FY1 in A&E and you've been asked to take a history from Emma Smith, who is a 27-year-old lady who has been admitted after being hit in the side of her head by a puck in a hockey match. She had initially lost consciousness, but came round after a couple of seconds. She came to hospital as she thought she would need stitches. You go and introduce yourself to her. Hello, my name is Dr Jones. Hi, nice to meet you. Could I just check your wristband, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Immediately, you are able to calculate her GCS. Take a few seconds to try and figure out what it is. Her GCS is currently 15. We can tell this because she is opening her eyes spontaneously. When you chat with her, she is able to converse and appears oriented. And having asked to see her wristband, you can tell that she is able to follow commands. You complete your history and examination, document it in the notes and discuss the plan with your registrar. Given that she lost consciousness, you have decided to order her a head CT. You go back a few minutes later to tell her the plan, but are instantly worried by the change in her behaviour. Hello Emma, this is Dr Jones again. Emma? Emma, can you hear me? Can you open your eyes? Bananas. Emma, can you squeeze my fingers? Take a few moments to try and work out what her GCS is now. Her GCS has now fallen to 10. We know this because her eyes are now only opening to the sound of your voice, giving her a score of 3 out of 4 for her best eye-opening response. Although she is able to talk, her response of bananas is clearly inappropriate. This gives her a score of 3 out of 5 for her best verbal response. For the motor response, she is not following commands as she doesn't squeeze your finger when asked. She then flexes her arm to pull it away from the source of pain, meaning she scores 4 out of 6 for her best motor response. You immediately tell the reg about her deterioration and she is rushed to CT. The scan shows an extradural haemorrhage and so you bleep the neurosurgeons. They agree to take over her care and she is quickly blue-lighted to the QMC's neurosurgery department in Nottingham. On arrival to the QMC, it appears that her GCS has fallen even further and the paramedics have needed to help maintain her airway. Hello, Emma, my name is Holly Morris, I'm one of the neurosurgical doctors. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Take a few seconds now to work out what her GCS has fallen to. Her GCS is now 5. Given that she isn't opening her eyes at all, she receives the lowest score for eye opening of 1 out of 4. And as she isn't making any sounds either, she also receives the lowest score for verbal response of 1 out of 5. It is worth noting at this point that the lowest score you can give in any component of a GCS assessment is 1, not 0. And finally, for motor response, her upper limb flexion that is exacerbated in response to a painful stimulus shows that she is decorticate, giving her a score for best motor response of 3 out of 5. She is taken straight to theatre for emergency surgery. She survived the operation and following a period of time on ITU, she began to show some improvement in neurological function, before being transferred to a neurorehabilitation unit to continue her recovery. 